Hi, this is Eli Olson. You're listening to WBCA 102.9 FM. This song is called The Next One. It's off my EP, and it's streaming everywhere. It's all right. Sure, we could catch the next one. Or you could stay with me tonight. If you want to. Just forget everything for a little while While we still can How bad could it be if we just ignored everything Holding us back and we got off track Like we're always running But we might miss one day Just a step away As we tiptoe the line On the edge of destruction It's alright Sure we could catch the next one Or you could stay with me If you want to Let's just forget everything for a little while While we still can For once in my life I don't Afraid of everything I don't care Why is it so hard to be so scared This cannot be the end of the world It's alright Sure we can catch the next one WBCA 102.9 FM, Boston's community radio station. My name is Emily, and today my guest is Eli Olson. Hi, Emily. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for having me. Your song, the next one, just came out. Yeah. What has that been like? It's been really cool. I am really proud of this song. Uh, I mean, I'm proud of all my songs, but this one was like one of my favorite songs. Um, And I called it the next one because... Because I say it, but also because it was the second song, and I wanted to be in like a show and like mm-hmm. play the first song, whatever it is, and then every time just be like, all right, here's the next one, and then <laughs> play the next one. So it's really just one big bit, mm-hmm. um, and I have to do that for the rest of my life. Awesome. I'm very excited. <laughs> very cool. It was cool to, you know, go through the process of hyping it up, putting it out, seeing what people think. Um, it's always really fun to see like what playlists people put them on um, just to see like how they are taking it in versus how I expected them to take it in. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, so it's just it's been a little more, uh, I guess, carefree with this release because, you know, I'm really proud of it and I'm really just happy I made it. So I don't really I'm not really worried about numbers or like anything like that cool that's yeah. awesome was there anything surprising like from what playlist people added it to or what people thought the, i guess the biggest surprise is just the people that put them on playlists you because, can like, see wh- who the people are right i can see their whole spotify account i can wow. see what other playlists they have 
Um, and half the time I don't know the person, which is terrifying. <laughs> um that's terrifying to me like as a listener yeah that they can see that yeah i've seen your playlist yeah. a few times <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know it's that's usually so like really cool. pleasant and really nice, nice because it's like chill vibes or like walking to the store and the moon is out and some <laughs> of the, some of the names get really really specific what would you do if it was one like songs that i hate <laughs> <laughs> i'd be really sad i guess <laughs> I would, I, I would probably, like, because I can see their account, go to their account, figure out who it is, and then, I don't know, ask them why they hate it. <laughs> Are you mad at me? <laughs> so you said that you're releasing an EP? Yes. Tell me about it. Um, It's five songs. I wrote it. I wrote most of it, like, two years ago. And then just, like, getting the funds and the time to record it has been a process. Um. I wrote a lot of it in the, like, summer of 2020, so a lot of it is very, like, I don't know. <laughs> the, there's, one of the songs is called The End of the World. Um, <laughs> I say End of the World in the next one. It's very conscious of everything kind of falling apart. Um, but it also, I tried to have it be sort of a concept EP project as well. Um it has like loose themes of climate change and dealing with such a like huge and like disastrous issue as an individual. Um, if you like listen to some of the songs, like the next one with like the climate change thing is like, we'll just catch the next one, like the next earth. Whoa. <laughs> but there is no, you know. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of like a little snarky. Um, but then it's also like, I don't want to I don't want to think about this all the time. I don't want to worry all the time and be you know, just living in fear. So mm -hmm. let's just get the next train, you know, and not worry about it. And um uh the first song this like intro song called False Epiphany. There are like you know, hints of like I'm so small and I have no idea how to take this on. Um and then there's just, like, different reactions to that feeling. That's very interesting. Yeah. Is this your first EP? Yeah, yeah. So I released uh, my first single was, like, back in 2019. Um, I've Been Better. Uh, and uh, After that was a song with um, 617 Sessions that the Boston Music Awards put on every year um, called By a Thread. And then, yeah, this is the first, like, full project I'll be putting out. Very cool. Yeah. How did you get like involved with the 617 sessions? Uh, my friend Gatch had recorded an album at uh, the Bridge Sound and Stage in Cambridge and that's where they do like the whole 617 sessions and having been like to a bunch of his sessions um, they like had been talking about it and it, it was going on at the same time so I had learned about it from there and um I just kind of it's you can just enter uh, like mm -hmm. submitting a demo and uh so I did cool yeah awesome all the like people that are accepted as that, like for that contest are up for the 617 sessions Boston Music Award oh, okay awesome mm -hmm. how does it feel to be nominated in the <laughs> same award as Claro <laughs> um, feels daunting. <laughs> I love her so much. <laughs> Speaking of Claro, you sure. are a Taylor Swift fan. <laughs> I'm a huge Taylor Swift fan. <laughs> yeah. So my question is, what is your favorite Taylor Swift song? And then what do you think would be Taylor's favorite Eli Olson song. Whoa. <laughs> that is a cool question. Uh, easily State of Grace uh, from Red. I don't know why, but that song has stuck with me. It's a good song. Um, that being said, had it been released 10 years ago when it was written, uh, Mr. Perfectly Fine. That's what I thought you were going to say. Uh, <laughs> I think I think if, if, if I hadn't like grown up with State of Grace, that would absolutely be right there at, right at number one. Um, Taylor's favorite Eli Olsen song? That's hard. Maybe 
False Epiphany, which is Hasn't the first song yet. on the EP. Um, it's a little more... Uh, not a, it's not a ballad, but it is slower. It's not as much of a rock song. Okay, I'm excited to hear yeah. it. <laughs> I'll be thinking about Taylor when I listen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you considered experimenting with other genres very much? Yeah. um, I don't know. I never really go into a song thinking like, okay, I want it to be this genre. But it's more of like, I'll like make like seven songs in the same like general idea. Like this EP is kind of a lot of this like rock, upbeat, um, wall of sound kind of going on. Um, and that's just because I wrote them around the same time. So I'll end up with like seven songs that are all the, they all sound the same. So it's not necessarily ending up in different genres, but like they do, you know, everything changes with like every couple months. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like I'll make a Spotify playlist every couple months. That's just a totally different batch of songs that I'm on, like listening to on repeat. Um, right now I'm in the, uh, the acoustic ballad era of both Spotify and my songs. Very nice. Yeah. What have you been listening to? Um, a lot of Lucy Dacus. Nice. Uh, I love home video. Uh, Night Shift is still in there, of course. Um, oh, as it was, Harry Styles. Mm. I haven't been listening to that. Cause Just it, today. Yeah, <laughs> but um, that's, you know, huge. Yeah. I guess that doesn't really fit in the acoustic side of things but maybe i'm know. maybe i'm leaving maybe i'm transitioning into harry style dream pop yeah <laughs> it sounds like a day glow song right oh kind of yeah i only listened to it once i think okay i didn't know that was happening that's a normal amount did of times did people know um yeah well oh. uh, sort of okay he announced the album do you feel like pretty influenced by the things you listen to yeah, I think so. Um, there'll be times where I'll like, I'll write a song and it'll be finished and I'll have it all fleshed out, and then I'll hear a song that I used to listen to like three years ago and realize it's the exact same song. <laughs> like I just completely ripped it off. I could give examples, but I feel like that would, you know, like songs I, that you might released? get sued. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all I'll say is like. I'm a big Bleachers fan. Oh, yeah. Roller Coaster is a fantastic song. Take It Slow is also a fantastic song. <laughs> I didn't do it on purpose. Yeah. So I think, I think it's fine. I think you Jack know what would be they okay say. With it. What do they say? If it wasn't on purpose, right. then, <laughs> then it's good. allowed. That's, I think that's in the court of law. Yeah. If it wasn't on purpose, it's not a big deal. Exactly. Yeah. Cool. Walking through a wonderland But I'm stuck in time Frozen by the second hand Purple skies and fading lights Don't look as nice When I can't sleep at night I'm chasing doom But I don't know how low I can go Baby, let's take it slow And wait for the midnight show Pictures on my wall are all I have All this time I've been waiting for life to begin But what if I should be chasing it? I'm gonna step outside and take it slow And wait for the midnight show
running for a breakdown I need a way to break out Don't want to be a letdown But I'm not listening, I'm not listening I'm running for a breakdown I need a way to break out No, I don't want to let you down But I swear I've never felt this high Let's take it slow For the midnight show Ooh, what are we riding for? We're gonna take a breath and let it go Baby, let's take it slow And wait for the midnight show Uh, Take It Slow was the first song, first single I released from the EP. Uh, I wrote it a year ago after watching Soul, the Pixar movie. Um, and just thinking, like, I want to, like, slow down, you know, and just Wait. <laughs> take in the, the environment. I don't know. Related to Soul? In in a, in a way, because, you know, that was very music-oriented, that mm-hmm. movie. Um, but it was more in just like taking a moment to feel it rather than being so I don't know wrapped up in the mm-hmm. logistics. So it was kind of like yeah, let's just like let's just vibe for a bit. And I also wanted to write a song that sounded like um, "305" by Shawn Mendes. <laughs> uh, just I wanted a, like a pop song that was kind of just a little low key vibe, and then it turned into more of a loud song after that. Uh, but yeah. Cool. Awesome. Do you like performing live? I do. I love it. Um, I don't do it as often as I wish I did, but, you know, every time I do, I get goosebumps. And especially if I'm with, like, a full band, it's like I'm standing up there and I realize, wow, this is my favorite thing in the world. Oh, Yeah. That's um, sweet. And it's usually, like, your friends that play with you in your band, right? This far, yeah, it's been just people I've been, you know, friends with for years and like making music with and yeah that's nice like a little community right and that's yeah kind of what I've tried to surround myself with in Boston is just a lot of music people not necessarily musicians but just you know you're a music person Mm -hmm. we're friends yeah um (laughs) (laughs) for the record yes we we are are friends friends. (laughs) but yeah uh it's really fun to just like it feels like you're just up there having fun, like just joshing around. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. I feel like you can tell, too. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, you're moving to New York, right? I am. Yeah. Thoughts, feelings? I'm very excited. Um, I think there's going to be a even like wider and deeper music scene there and just group of you know people like me. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, I've I've kind of been holding off on forming a band here because of moving. I didn't want to like set something up just to leave it, which looking back probably wasn't necessary. But um, I'm excited to you know really without school and without you know uh, or, or I guess without school and with you know making money yeah. now. Um, I think I am really going to be able to put a lot more into music than I am now, Um, and I'm really excited for that. So is your goal to just be doing music full-time? Yeah, theoretically, Um, whether it's, like, in a studio or on a stage, I would Mm -hmm. probably prefer that, yeah. Awesome. What is your job that you're going to be doing? uh, Yeah, I'm doing web development. If they're watching this, I, I can't wait to work for you forever (laughs) i actually don't want to be a musician (laughs) good good yeah you want to be an astronaut rock star yeah yeah what are your plans to make this happen (laughs) i haven't been asked about this in a long time 
Um, at some point in like senior year of high school, I decided I wanted to be an astronaut. Um, uh, and I like was always sad because I didn't want to do anything that astronauts did. Um, cause I want, I knew I wanted to do like computer science. Um, and I was also too tall. I think, I think really? the limit is like 70 or it was, it was 74 inches, which I think is six, two. And then one day I looked and it was like, you can be computer science and 75 inches tall. <laughs> and I was like, word, I guess I'm going to be an astronaut now. <laughs> Um, you saw that somewhere? On the NASA website. I checked it frequently. Oh, okay. Just to, <laughs> just to see what my options were. Yeah. Uh, I guess they updated them sometime in 2017. <laughs> uh, so then I was like, cool, I'll be an astronaut. And I told everybody at school I wanted to be an astronaut. And um, yeah, every once in a while, somebody from home was like, so how's being an astronaut? <laughs> um, it's great. But, you know, I... I then I started doing music, and I was like, well, I kind of want to be a rock star, too. Because, you know, when you're in, like, fourth grade, third grade, people are like, what do you want to be? And you're like, a baseball player or an astronaut or a rock star. Mm-hmm. And I was, I, I guess I just never really let go of that. Most people are like, uh, I, I'll be an accountant. <laughs> um, and I don't know. I just didn't ever... I've never thought, no, that's actually not realistic. I'll do something else, which, like, I'm doing something else, but I don't know. I think it's nice to keep trying to do that. Um, Being a rock star or an astronaut? Both. Yeah. (laughs) Both. Okay. (laughs) My my strategy right now is I want to do rock star first. Mm -hmm. Um, So then I can change my Instagram bio from future astronaut, astronaut rock star to future astronaut period rock star Mm -hmm. and then uh i don't know if i'm like a rich and famous rock star i'll just like ask elon musk or somebody (laughs) to send me to space yeah so i can technically be an astronaut okay yeah yeah i think first ever concert in outer space right i just i don't know if that's happened before but uh i know there was a guy on the iss that had a a guitar he took one with him. Mm-hmm. I don't know how he got it up there, but <laughs> he, he would, like, stream stuff. That's cool. But, you know, sound doesn't travel through space, so it would have to be contained somehow. Not that I would... I guess I wouldn't be playing out in space. <laughs> Maybe you should be. <laughs> would need an atmosphere of some sort. Yeah, I don't know how that works. Or, like, be out on a spacewalk, just jamming. Yeah. Interesting. I'm picturing it. Yeah, me too. It's kind of <laughs> sick. Yeah. <laughs> New goal in mind. Yeah. Awesome. There's no sound in space. <laughs> yeah, but if you, you know, if you just yell really loud. Or use your imagination. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay, we'll keep working on the yeah, logistics. We'll, we'll workshop it. <laughs> we'll keep working on the physics. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we have time. But I think going back to what you were saying before, it's good that you, you've you never given up on your dreams. Like. Yeah. That's the only way right. to make them happen. I think it's, you know, it's more fun. Yeah. To, to, you know, maybe I'll never be an astronaut or a rock star, but it's it's fun to think I could be. Yeah. And also, like, who's to say, like, how do you classify a rock star? Right. Like, am I a rock star if I played at my friend's house in Boston? I'd say so. Then check. Yeah. Or do I need to be, like, Shawn Mendes? <laughs> do you consider Shawn Mendes a rock star? More of a pop star, I guess. He plays guitar. Yeah. (laughs) You're from Illinois. I am. What's that like? Um, it's, it's different. Uh, you have to drive 20 minutes to get anywhere, at least where I live. Um, I grew up in a town of like 450 people. Whoa, that's Um, smaller than my high school. Yeah. Yeah, so I knew everybody. Mm-hmm. And my high school was less than 200 people. Um, Wait, half the people in your town were in high school? Well, so I had to go to the high school in the town over okay. because <laughs> we were too small to have schools. <laughs> um, I went to grade school there for three years, and my class had, like, four people in it. Whoa. Yeah, so then we had to, you know. Yeah. I'm saying people. They're kids. I don't know. <laughs> four kids in it. Uh, so then, yeah, we had to go to the other school. 
So this was two towns, and it was 200 people wow. in the high school. That's wild. So what was the, like, transition to Boston like? It was a bit of a shock. Um, but I do feel like Boston is, like, the small town of big cities. Mm-hmm. I feel like people say that. I don't know. Maybe I just I've never that. heard it, but sure. it sounds sounds right. Right? Like, it's, you know, it's not huge. It's not New York. It's not Chicago. Yeah. Yeah. Um, So it was a shock, but it was also, like, exciting. I sometimes miss the sky. Uh, There's really big skies in Illinois. um, We do not have skies here. No, no, we do not. Yeah. If you look straight up, usually you can see the sky if you're not inside. (laughs) Uh, um, (laughs) I just had to check. (laughs) Yeah, no sky in here. (laughs) I'd be a little worried if there was. Do you still go back there often? Um. Yeah, when I can. I guess COVID kind of got a little bit in the way of that. Mm -hmm. Um, And now my siblings have all moved out as well. So it's just my parents and our dogs Um, and donkeys. Donkeys? Mm Mm-hmm. At your house? Yeah. we. I mean, we live on a farm, but we don't farm. But we did feel like we had to have something farm-esque, so we got donkeys. I feel like you're lying to me. I'm not. I can show you a picture. Yeah, I would like to see. I'll pull up my house. On Google Google Maps. What do the donkeys do? Nothing at all. <laughs> <laughs> they sit there uh, and eat all the grass in their pasture. And sometimes we let them out to, you know, eat more grass further outside their <laughs> pasture. This is the donkey pasture. Oh, my gosh. So let's see if How can... many donkeys Um, I think we have three. We've had, like, five at one point. Uh, but we, you know, that was a lot of donkeys. They get expensive. Where did, where did the others go? Uh, there's other donkey farms around. <laughs> that's, that's really cool. My donkeys. Yeah. Moving on sure, from donkeys. Sure. I've Been Better is the first song I released. I made it pretty quickly back in like fall 2018 to spring 2019. I just like happened upon that like acoustic riff that boom, 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 you know <laughs> yeah. and uh built on that for a couple months and then it was like the first song i'd really sat down and fully fleshed out like in one go and for some reason at that point i was like yeah i'll put it out i hadn't i'd been i felt this huge like fear to put anything out at that point but this one was just like i need to mm-hmm. so then i did in may 2020 and uh i didn't realize how much i would uh relate to that song in in the yeah. year to come. <laughs> so it kind of grew into this whole thing and it got, you know, got some traction, mm-hmm. got a lot of people, I guess, related to it as well. Yeah. Um So yeah. Cool. Sunday mornings where I could sit and waste my time yeah I could have used a storm warning before this came and hit me blind and I've stopped watching people as they're walking through the streets as we lose all the light to the dark Baby, don't you know that everybody's running out of steam? And oh, I can't take this part. I'm no pretender, I've been better. And like the weather, I've been better, I've been better. I've lost track of sunny days And the last time I left my room I'm not ready for my world to change And I miss the days when skies were blue And 
And I've been around, seen a town or two in my days But I don't stick around You and I, they and them, were all out of phase The lost our losing hope of being found I'm no pretender, I've been better And like the weather, I've been better, I've been better. Okay, cool. Cool. Thanks, Emily. Of course. Cool. Thank you.